All right, I want to welcome everybody to the RBBS Logistics Learning Center, orientation number 36. You all know the deal. It is Monday, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in Tallahassee, Florida, and every Monday at 5.30 p.m. we have our orientation for our new students. And today we have our new students on with us, and they are going to be uh, receiving their orientation there and getting their access to the back office site and being able to access all their tools and resources. All right. Like I said before, this is our back office site. I'm going to send you all the link to the back office site. Give me one second here. Let me send this to you all. All right. Everybody got that link? All right. That's a link to the back office site. We're going to click on that. We're going to go to the back office site. Um, when you get to the back office site, this is what you're going to see. Okay? You're going to see this little presentation page here where it says the National Dispatchers Network. So that's what you all are. When you all became, um, when you pass your test, when you all pass your basic knowledge quiz, you all uh, essentially now are becoming part of a National Dispatchers Network. That network is over 500 dispatch firms strong. Some of those firms are brokerage firms. Some of those firms are freight forwarding firms. But the majority, the vast majority of them are dispatch firms. These are all individuals just like yourself who have hired us to consult with them and teach them how to do this business, how to earn money as a logistics entrepreneur, not just book freight. Let me repeat that. We are not here just to teach you how to book freight. We are here to teach you how to develop and profit from your own logistics firm. We're here to teach you how to be a logistics entrepreneur. And it's not just booking freight, as you all will find out. In our platform, we actually network with each other. Our platform is second to none. There is not another platform out there like it anywhere. We can make that claim because that claim is true. Nobody provides you all with the tools, resources, support, and the networking capability that our platform does, okay? And we're going to get into that. And the way that we promote our uh, services is through our website, um, which is right here. We are going to be looking to change the, the website address from the rbbstransport.com to um, the nationaldispatchnetwork.com or the ndn.com. Um, so we're going to be changing that hopefully this week. So, But this is how you all promote your services. If you don't have your own personal website, feel free to use this website to promote your services. Because when people come to our website, when you when you give our, our website address, this is what they're going to see. The National Dispatchers Network, they see the presentation page, then the, on the other page that they'll be able to access will be the Who Are We page. When they click on that, it's going to take them over to tell them all about who we are and how we operate. One of the things that we do that is completely different, and well, you're probably hearing other people trying to mimic what we do now because what we've done is caught on so quickly and people are starting to, you know, kind of borrow because, you know, we give away a lot of free videos. So other people have now started trying to copy our system of how we, or not our system, they're trying to copy our mission statement or they're trying to copy uh, the way we contact carriers. All right. Everyone else, what they were doing was when they call, when they go out and book freight, their thing was to go out and find shippers. That's not what we teach you all to do. We don't teach you all just to go find shippers first. I know every other freight broker tells you, go out and get yourself some shippers. You know, once you get shippers, then you, get, then you, you send them to the truck and let the truck pick what loads you want. That dog don't hunt. I'm here to tell you that right now. That's the old school way of doing things. That was before truckers had access to all of this technology. Now they can pick up one of these bad boys right here, as you know, y'all can see, and they can go to an app and they can find all the loads they want right there at the palm of their hand, right? So the old school way of having a bunch of loads and then present those loads and just shotgun the load out to truckers, that don't work. Why? Because truckers now have, they have access to a lot more stuff. So we can bring you into our network and we give you all the tools and resources and all the technology to do this today's way where you actually become an asset to carriers and they'll want to use you, okay? But when carriers come here, they're going to see that we operate differently. 
you know, get to know us. Fast, friendly, and fully functional, our network of independent dispatchers are well-renowned throughout the United States. When it comes to finding the right freight for your needs, our team is up for every challenge with the skill and, and experience our clients have come to expect. We always stand behind our work with customer satisfaction being our number one priority. Contact us to learn more about our incredible network of dispatchers and how they can help you. Um, areas of service, it basically tells you here, a network of more than 300 independent logistics freight dispatching firms. We're over 500 now. So we picked up an uh, extra 200 plus since we put this website into operation about two and a half months ago, about two and a half to three months ago. Okay, so we're over 500 now. Built by owner operators for owner operators. We understand this is basically our mission statement. This is what separates us from, from everyone else. We understand every carrier is unique in their low price and needs. Our national dispatchers network will cater their low search to your pricing requirements. And there's a little video here that they can watch. Uh, if y'all want to watch it, you can. It's a little 30 to 47 second video that kind of, you know, kind of a feel good video that makes them feel good about their, um, about their relationship with us. Um, got some nice music in, you know, behind and stuff like that. All right. Um, if you go down here, it goes more into our mission statement and how we operate, our operational um, 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 guidelines. Um, our national dispatchers network is built by owner operators for owner operators. So we understand every carrier is unique in their prices, in their low price of need. Our network of dispatchers would cater their low search to your price and requirement. In other words, if you need $2.75 CPM, CPM stands for cents per mile for those of you who don't know, to run a load, our dispatchers will only look for and contact you with offers of $2.75 per mile or better. It's that simple. Okay? So contact one of our dispatch agents today, toll free, 866-9736-4445. And here is where they will see a listing of all our, our extensions, um, where they can go into to a representative, recruiting, training. Uh, you notice here you have areas that say extension 3, 4, 5, and 6, they're all dispatch. That's carrier dispatch, carrier dispatch 2, 3, and 4. Those areas are for you all when you all come on every morning, you log on to the Facebook chat group, and you place yourself up. Available when you get an extension, you will get your, your all of you all will have your extensions by Friday, okay? But when you get your extension, you will you will just log into the Facebook chat group, and all you do is just put down there your extension and put I'm available or extension seven thousand eight twenty seven available. When you do that, you're put into rotation on our phone calls uh, system for when cold calls come in. In other words, when shippers call in, when carriers call in, wanting to know how to join us or wanting to know what type of services we provide or anything like that, we route those calls out to you all. Now, if you're the first four to come on and make yourself available, you're going to be in the first round of, you're going to be in the first um, um, line to receive calls. In other words, if you're the first person to come in and you sign on in the morning, your, your, your extension is going to be the first one in calls that coming in to extension three. Okay, that's, that's, the, that's the first carrier dispatch number. So if you're the first person that comes in in the morning or logs on you know, in the morning and say, I'm available, your extension will be the first call, be the first one to receive calls at extension three. If you're the second person, you'll be put on extension four. If you're the third person, you'll be put on extension five. If you're the fourth person, you'll be put on extension six. So what happens is, Calls where people will call in, they will hit extensions three, four, five, or six. If you're the first person that came in and logged on in the morning, you're going to be the first person to receive calls. Each person remains at, at the number one spot call rotation for one hour. After that, we rotate to the next group of people who came in behind you. So whoever comes in behind you, they're the second call in. So in other words, if a call comes in to extension three, right, and all the other extensions are busy, and and extension three is busy. If you if, if if the person who had the first call, they if they're on a phone call, that phone number will that call will automatically reroute 
to the second person's extension who signed up on extension three. You understand what I'm saying? So it would rotate to each person as they are filled. Now, but and each person will have a chance at the top spot once it, for one hour, and then it rotates around. And then if if your leg of extensions is full um, for the day, if you were on extension three, but you have so many people who have logged into extension three, we'll rotate the first person that came in. We'll rotate you down to extension four or five or, or, or six to keep your call volume up. But that's how that works. And then when you want to be taken off of the call box, you want to be taken out of the call rotation, you just we go back to Facebook it, and get into the chat group and you say extension such and such and such is unavailable. That's all you need to do. When you do that, then our interns will take you out of the call rotation. But that's how you get in the call rotation um, to, 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 to receive cold calls that come in. Um, if someone is calling in looking for you specifically, they will just dial your extension. All of you all's extensions are listed here on the website. Um, when you get your extension, they'll all be listed here. And you can see there's a lot of extensions. We have a lot of extensions. We have a lot of students. Thus, thus far, we have a lot of what? Members to the National Network of Dispatchers. And we update this um, every month. We update this once a month, usually around the 15th of the month. And that's when we add all of the, the, the new extensions. Okay? Uh, someone just asked a question, do we need to have a Facebook account to join chat? Yeah, you do. I, I know some of you saying, well, I don't do Facebook. Well, this is business. You might want to start doing Facebook. We're not asking you to come on Facebook to, you know, to, you know, to spread gossip or to see, you know, uh, what someone else is doing or, you know, that happens. So we're asking you to come on Facebook to make money. <laughs> That's why we're on Facebook. We're on Facebook to make money. Uh, Facebook is a great platform. We can call you up on Facebook. We can see how you're doing within the chat group. Um, by by monitoring the chat group, we can we can kind of get a feel for what each student is having trouble in. Because we notice that you're asking the same type of question over and over again. Obviously, you're having a trouble in that area. I'm correct? Does everyone agree with that? So when we notice that, one of our interns who was monitoring the, on the chat group, they'll call us up, either myself or, or one of my senior members of the staff. they say, hey, uh, students and such seems like they're having problems here. Here's some of the stuff that they've been um, asking on the, on the chat group. And they'll send us a screenshot of it. And then we'll get on Facebook. And we'll hit your little call number, and we'll call you on Facebook. Just like we're talking now, we'll be talking on Facebook. You know, we'll call you, and we'll talk to you, and we'll try to find out what's going on, and we'll try to help you through that problem. That's what you hired us for, to consult with you. We use Facebook as a platform to be able to monitor you and monitor your progress within the chat group. So that's why we use Facebook. So, yeah, um, get Facebook. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not the demon that everybody thinks it is. <laughs> I mean, it, it does have some um, some applicable things that can really, really, really help you as an entrepreneur. Um, it really can help you as an entrepreneur if you use it for that. That's what I use it for. Um, I've got over 5,000 associates on Facebook and probably about 15, 20 of them that I actually know. You know, you know what I mean? So that means everybody who, who is associated with me on Facebook is there for some type of business person, um, purpose. Now, I do have my own private Facebook pages. I have about three, 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 three Facebook accounts, but the one that we're going to be using is strictly for, um, for business. I'm not the only one that accesses that account. The law firm that pumped money into our firm and our investors, they have access to, to my Facebook account because so they have the right to view what's going on and to see how we're using their money and to make sure that we're on track and doing things the right way. Give me one just one second. This is Calvin with the RBG Physician Center. How can I help you? Hello? Hello? Okay. I guess you want to talk. Um, but <laughs> that's what we do. That's how we operate. Um, so um, Facebook is a good thing. Okay, You'll find that out. All right. Um, back to what we were saying. But anyway, uh, as you can see, the list continues. But we add you all to this list every month, or, and you all will have your numbers by Friday. I'm gonna, um, at the end of this, I'm going to be uh, giving you all some information on how to get your uh, your network profile over to us and how to submit that. 
and to get for us to get that done so you can have your um, numbers and your extensions and your um, uh, feedback line and your dedicated email addresses and we have all that for you all. You all, you all will have yours by Friday. Okay? All right. Let's get into the back office area. Now, the back office area can only be accessed by members of the uh, network because you're going to have to set up your own username and password. You all won't be able to log in right now, so you're, just, you're going to have to just follow me. But when you do want to get access to this back office, you're going to click where it says Dispatcher Tools and Resources. When you click this, it's going to take you over to here where, where you have to log in. Now, obviously, you all do not have a login. I need you all to pay very close attention to me because there's a procedure that you all have to follow, and you have to do this exactly the way it's laid out because if you don't, you won't get approved for, for the back office. It's going to ask you for a login. Obviously, you don't have a login, so you all are going to come down here where it says don't have one, and you sign up for one. Now, when you sign up for this, it's going to ask you to put in an email address for, 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 for your username. Very important. That email address has to be the exact same email address you enroll with. Whatever email address you use when you pay for your enrollment, you have to use that email address. Because the system is going to send that over to our interns for verification. And they're going to cross check your email address to make sure you are an enrolled student. And then they're going to take that same information and they're going to go to our testing um, our platform and they're going to make sure that you pass your basic knowledge quiz. So they're going to, and all of that is set up on your what? Your enrollment email. And this is how they verify that. If you put in an email address that doesn't match, you're going to get a thing that says that your approval has been put on hold pending a verification of your identity because the email address does not match any email address that we have on file. Okay? So no one gets access to the back office unless they are, first of all, enrolled and they have passed the basic knowledge exam. So we have a lot of passwords and stuff that are in our back office, and we don't want anyone who is not part of our network to have access to any of our back office passwords or anything like that. Okay? So when you create this, you have to use the email address you use when you enroll. Do not click log me in with Facebook because your email address may not be the same as the one that it is, you know, when you enroll. So make sure you use the email address you enrolled with and then you create your own username, I mean your own password, and then when and then you come back to it um, after you've gotten your approval, email and log back in. Okay? Now, it depending on when you all do this, some of y'all would do it right away, some of y'all would do it late at night. Depending on when you do it, eh, may delay your approval anywhere from an hour to a day. Because so obviously, if you do it at 2 o'clock in the morning, chances that an intern is going to be up to see that very, very unlikely. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be honest with you. We use the interns here at Florida State Fairview and TCC to do a lot of stuff. Uh, I use them on my dispatch firm. We dispatch, my firm dispatches for about 317 carriers. I personally only dispatch for about eight or nine of those myself because of all the things that I do. But our interns dispatch those carriers on a weekly basis. So that's what we use. Um, um, you know, we encourage you all to use everything that you can at your disposal to cut your overhead costs. And that's one way of doing it. Interns, they work for grades, not to pay them. <laughs> I mean, so, so it works kind of great. Um, but anyway, um, but this is how you're going to get access um, to your back office. Once you get access to it, this is what you're going to see. You're going to get into the back office, and this is what you are going to see. It's going to load you in, and you're going to get your back office access. The first thing you're going to see is contracts and agreements. The reason why we have this up first is because this is your money maker. You cannot, let me repeat this. You cannot make money as a dispatcher without a dispatch agreement. Also, you are not legal as a dispatcher if you do not have a dispatch agreement in place. You all would get a lot of people that would tell you all that dispatchers are operating illegally. That is not true. Dispatchers are operating legally because they're operating as a bona fide agent of the carrier. And as a bona fide agent, if you have an agreement in place, that makes you legal. Okay, and it even says so, uh, even the Federal Motor Carrier Association says so. 
Uh, we put this out. Uh, let me let me show you all this. We put this out um, a couple of about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm gonna show you all what the Federal Motor Care Association says about dispatchers. Put this up for you all, and here it is right here. All right, we put this out uh, a couple of weeks ago, and basically. What it says is uh, dispatch firms legal or road. And as you can see here, you all here. Let me send y'all a link to this so y'all can see it. Let me copy and give this to you all. Give me just a second. Feel free to, to go ahead and check that out. But we put this out um, about two weeks ago, letting you all know that dispatch firms are legal. And the Federal Motor Carrier even says so. But you all are going to run into a lot of uh, what we call social media DOT legal experts. <laughs> You're going to run into a lot of those. And they're all going to tell you that persuading to um, 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 our statute, FM, FMCSA, the Federal Motor Care Association, our statute 49 CFR 371, they're going to tell you that dispatches are not legal because they're operating like brokers. Well, that's not what that statute says. If you take just certain parts of that statute and read it, yeah, it does say something like it, it will lead you to believe that. But if you read the entire statute, you'll see that they have an exemption, an exception for dispatchers. And we put this out to let people know that dispatchers are legal. It says various law firms and I have noticed a concerted effort to, delegitim to delegitimize the $57 billion a year dispatch industry and its 100 plus thousand dispatch firms nationwide. Is it conceivable that hundreds of thousands of dispatch firms are operating illegally? And if so, why are they allowed to continue? Surely these firms are not above the law, right? Or is this notion of their illegitimacy mostly political and or just powerful brokerage firms and mega trucking companies are starting to fear the little independent kids on the block? Now, most social media DOT legal experts will quote the Federal Motor Care Association uh, on statute uh, 49 CFR 371. Here's a bit of legality the social media legal experts seem to conveniently leave out every time. However, under said rule, this is from the, the Federal Motor Care Association, however, under said rule, there is an, ex an exception. Motor carriers or persons who are employees or bona fide agents of carriers are not brokers within the meaning of this section when they arrange or offer to arrange the transportation of shipments which they are authorized to transport and which they have accepted and legally bound themselves to transport. That is, an entity is not a broker if it is a bona fide agent of a carrier as defined under under 49 CFR 371.2, subsection B. Okay, they don't go further enough in it because they don't read everything, but they'll tell you about the first part of it, but they won't tell you about the exception. Okay, as persons who are part of a normal organization of a motor carrier and perform duties under the carrier's direction, persuading to a pre existing agreement which provides for content or a continuing relationship. That's you all. That pre-existing agreement is your dispatch agreement. That is what makes you legal. Okay? That's why we have that as the first thing you have to get from the carriers before you can start locating them freight. You get them to sign a dispatch agreement, and that's what makes you legal under the, under the rules and regulations of the Federal Motor Carrier Association. Okay? Precluding the exercise of discretion on the part of the agent in allocating traffic between the carrier and others. Now you all can read the rest of this, but it basically just reconfirms what we just said here. Okay? Um, but that's the part that they, they always tend to leave out when they're saying that dispatches are not legal. That is not true. Dispatches are perfectly legal. Okay, and you do not need a you do not need a DOT number. You do not need an authority. You do not need 
an MC number. Why? Because you are an extension of the carrier. You are a bona fide agent of the carrier, and you are only paid by the carrier. You're not paid by the shipper. You're not paid by the broker. You're only paid by the carrier. Okay? So if, 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 if you ever have someone that approaches you with that, tell them to go read that um, 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 th those guidelines by the federal motor carrier. But this is your dispatch agreement. All right. This is the first thing we want you all to pay attention to. All right, we're going to go over this dispatch agreement. When you need this, you just click on it, you pull it up. This is what you're going to send to your carriers when you get them to agree to have you to look for loads for them. You're going to make sure they get this, and you're going to make sure they sign it, and you're going to keep a copy of this. You're going to keep a copy of it. Don't send it over to us. You're going to keep a copy of it because that is your carrier, okay? But we're going to go over your dispatch agreement. When you need it, you just click on it, open it up, and you're going to open up the dispatch agreement, and all you've got to do is click where it says click the the editing button, which is right here. You click the editing, and now you can edit this agreement, which means now you can actually um, go in here and plug in your name and stuff. If I can ever get there, we go. You can get in here and you can plug in your name, your address, and all that type of stuff. Now let's go over this dispatch agreement. All right, at the top, where it says dispatcher, your information goes there. Okay, do not put RBBS or the National Network of Dispatchers. Your name or your company name goes there. In the address section, you, you do not have to divulge your complete address. You can just put your city and state if that's what you want. That would suffice. A phone number. Your phone number goes here. Once you get your toll-free number, you might want to use that in your extension, or you can put a private phone number if you, so, if you so choose to. Cell phone numbers will suffice as well. Your email address goes here. We're going to give you a dedicated domain email address, but if you have an email address that, that you want to use, um, Outside of that, you can put that there, okay? Now, for this section down here, what needs to be filled out, we're going to skip down here to the fee line because I want everybody to notice something. This is the fee line where it says um, the fee for this dispatch service will be 10% of the gross revenue of each shipment with no minimum charge. Everything above that fee line, okay, everything above that fee line that is in yellow is where your name or your company name goes. Okay, everything below that fee line that is highlighted in yellow, the carrier fills out. Okay, so everything above the fee line that is in yellow, that's highlighted in yellow, that is where your name or your company name goes. Everything below that, that fee line that is in yellow, that is for the carrier to fill out. Let's go over this dispatch agreement. It basically states that I, the carrier, puts their name there. The owner of and or the driver of truck number, the carrier's truck number goes there. Of the carrier, a licensed motor carrier, their MC number goes there and or DOT number, their DOT number goes there. Hereby grants authorizations to your name or your company name goes there to act as my agent for the sole purpose of searching for and booking shipments, processing all brokerage paperwork, and obtaining certificates of insurance as required in order to expedite shipments and dispatch via telephone, fax, or email. For my truck unit number, their truck number goes there. License plate number, the license plate number goes there. In the state of, of and, the, and the state they operate out, state they operate out of goes there. All billing, invoicing, and collection of revenue from customers, brokers, shippers, consignees, etc., are the sole responsibility of the carrier. If revenue for a shipment or shipments is uncollectible, your name goes there or your company name goes there, will be held harmless and no penalty or deduction of fees will be made. The carrier agrees to maintain all proper licenses and permits to conduct business as a motor carrier in the area of intended operations. Additionally, carrier agrees to maintain liability and cargo insurance at the amount set forth by the home state of the carrier. Your name goes here. We'll be held harmless in the event of any and all claims. The carrier agrees to maintain an account with an internet load board service in the name of the carrier with your name goes there or your company name goes there as the point of contact for dispatching purposes. Let's, let's stop there for a second and go over something. All right. You notice that you all, um, there is contingencies here that make you all um, you can't be sued, okay? 
you have no liability. You are still harmless from any claims that are are prevented from you all finding them pregnant. You understand what I'm saying? Because all you're doing, because you are working as an extension of the carrier. You are a bona fide agent. Okay, you are to be held harmless if for whatever reason a carrier picks up a load, the carrier runs into a ditch and damages the load, and then the, and then the shipper decides that they don't want to pay the broker, and the broker decides to sue the carrier, and then the shipper decides to sue the broker. So the shipper is, is, is suing the broker because the broker has liability. The broker took ownership of that freight. Okay, that's why they have a bond. Now the broker has to sue the carrier. Why? Because to not get a blemish on his bond record. Why? Because that carrier was the one that had the accident, right? So in that scenario, no way, no how can you as a dispatcher ever be sued. Okay, that's why that that's why that is written the way it is. It's written to protect you from liability. Okay? Um, does everybody understand that part of it? If you understand it, just type into your text this thing, yes, 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 or whatever, or just tell yeah. me yes. Yeah. All right. All right. The second part of this where it says that the carrier has to um, 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 maintain um, low board access and let you basically, you know, have access to it and, and, and control it. That is there because right now, while you all are within our platform, while you're our students, we pay for your low board access. Okay? We take care of all that. You don't have to worry about that. But at some point in time, you all are going to grow up. You're going to say, I got this, I got my carriers, I got my shippers. I don't need old man Calvin to show me that no more. I got all this. What I need him for? <laughs> Eventually, one day that's going to happen, believe it or not. You all are going to get to the point where you feel like you got this on your own. You don't need our holding your hand anymore. Okay? When that happens and you leave the platform, you're going to be responsible for your own load boards. And this is the way to get your carriers to pay for your load boards. Because essentially, you are working for the carriers, right? You're their agent. So, when a carrier signs this, they are agreeing at some point in time, let's say if you decide you want to get that low boy, you, we all know that is very good, but that is also very expensive. It's like $299 per month. So, if you've got yourself 20 or 30 carriers, all right, and you go to them and say, hey, I have a way for us to get access to that low board, and each of you will only have to pay $29.99 a month. So, if each of your carriers, you have 20 carriers, they're paying, each paying uh, $30 Per month, what's 20 times 30? Anybody care to give me a figure on what's that? Like, what's that? 1200 or something like that? Hold on. Let me make sure this what I got. 800 or 1800 or, but 20 times 30. Here, I'll put, I'll, I'll put it up for you all. Let me get on to my calculator here. Right, let's get on to the calculator. And see what that 20 times 30 is. We'll pull up our good old trusty calculator. There it is. And if you've got uh, 20 carriers and they each pay $29.99, that's 30 bucks. That's $600. Okay? That's $600. All right. So, but the low board only costs what? $299. You see what I'm saying? So you've got enough money to pay for the access to the load board, right, using their MC number and, and, and their name, and, uh, but you have access to the load board, and you are the manager of that access. So now you can use that one access to find all your carriers load. This why you can have each one of them pay you $29.99 per month. And they're going to like it. Why? Because they get to get access to... A uh, that low board, a very expensive low board, at a lot less cost, and you're going to help them find higher paying freight. So you all see how that um, how that benefits your carriers, and the rest of the money you can use that for operating expense, or you can use it to get access to, to other low boards if you choose if you so choose to. But this is how you get your carriers to pay for your access to the low boards. Okay, um, let's get back and find your dispatch agreement again. There it is down there. Go back, pull that back up. All right, great. All right, so that's how you can have that done with uh, getting your carriers to prepare your load board. Does everybody understand that? Give me a little type in. Yes, I got it. You know that type of deal. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. The rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. It says here, um, uh, the fee. 
For dispatch services will be 10% of the gross revenue of each shipment with no minimum charge. Okay. Um, as loads are picked up, an amount equal to the above stated percentage will be payable to you. Your name goes there. Okay. Everybody, please pay attention. Do not put RBBS there. Do not put RBBS LLC there. Do not put you know the National Dispatch Network. This is your client. Okay, this is your client. That client does not belong to us. This is your client. Okay, so you put, so the payment is coming to you. Okay, this is your client paying you for your services. We collect that payment. It says here, payments are to be conveniently paid with any debtor or credit card via text or email invoice app. Okay, processed by the RBBS LLC invoice processing. Okay, so we actually process it and we collect it. We send them a text or an email. Okay? And all they have to do, we send them a text or an email in invoice and all your client has to do is click on it and pay with a debit or credit card. When they pay, that goes into our Square Cash account. We immediately turn around and we send you your half of it. So you are getting 5% of the low fee and we are getting 5% of the low fee and you're getting paid at the exact same moment that we are getting paid. Okay, so there's no delay in when you get paid. So when your carrier pays by clicking on it and paying with a debit credit card, we take half of that fund straight from our we, we send it straight from our square cash account. It doesn't even leave our account before we pay you. We go ahead and send you out your text message or email pay voucher from our square cash app. But all you do is click on it and you deposit the funds into your bank account that you attach to your Square Cash app that you downloaded free in your phone's app store. Okay, it's called Square Cash or Cash Me. You can download it free in your phone's app store, so everybody please do that. And um, you can also uh, get a free Square Cash debit card to be used anywhere just like any other Visa debit card. Okay, you have to be the logo on and everything. So you, so when you get your money, you can either deposit it directly into your account, or you can deposit it directly onto your Square Cash debit card. Either way, okay. But this is how you get paid, and this is how you earn money while you're learning, and this is how you pay us for our service. Um, it goes on to say, please provide. This is for the carrier. It says, please provide your SMS cell phone text number here. The carrier's cell phone number goes there, and your email here. The carrier's email goes there, okay? Either party has the right to end this agreement without cause at any time with seven days' notice by, it, by writing, by written request, I'm sorry. Upon cancellation, any unused funds remaining in the deposit account will be refunded to the carrier between within two business days without penalty, okay? By signing below, I fully understand the terms of this agreement. The carrier's company name goes there, the signature goes there, the date goes there, um, print, and, and then you print your name there, uh, or they print their name there, then your name goes here where it says dispatcher or, or your company name, and your signature goes here. And that is your dispatch agreement, okay? That is your dispatch agreement. Um, and then it says, how long do they have to pay? We usually send them out the invoice um, as soon as you call us and tell us that your carrier is about to get paid because, because remember, you're going to be the one who's going to be following up on them. But this is stuff that we handle in training. But um, if you are doing what you're supposed to be doing, when your carrier sends you the BOL, you send us all that paper, uh, you send that paperwork over to the broker. The broker sends that paperwork up to their, um, 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 their factoring company. And then you follow up about three days later. Mr. Broker, I'm calling to uh, check the status of my carrier pay on load number blah, 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 blah. The broker tells you carrier's getting paid today. Carrier got paid yesterday. Carrier's getting paid tomorrow. Whatever that broker tells you, then you turn, contact us, and you send us all the paperwork. All this is in your back office area, which we're going to go over. But you send us the paperwork, and then we process it, and then we send your carrier out their invoice, letting them know that they owe you that money, and they click on it, and they pay, and as soon as they pay, we send it over to you. We usually give them about three days to pay. That's what we give them. After they have received notice that they have been paid. So it usually takes about a week to a week and a half from the time the carrier 
drops the load to them getting paid, thus you getting paid. All right? That's about what it takes, about a week to a week and a half, tops. Sometimes it happens in four days, but it takes, on average, about a week to a week and a half. All right? If you've done everything the way you're supposed to, be, the way you're supposed to do it. All right, but that's your dispatch agreement. All right, let's get out of that. That's your dispatch agreement. All right, um, this other one here is a broker carrier contract. This is only for those of you who have a bond. If you are a bonded broker, you must use this broker carrier contract. I'm not going to go over this broker carrier contract because it has too much legal jargon in it. And I hate reading legal jargon. It gives me a headache. So, but this is your broker. Uh, you all can pull it up and look at it if you want to. But this is your broker uh, carrier um, agreement. As you notice here, it is very involved. There's a lot more legal language and things like that because you are a broker. You have a bond. You have liability and things like that. When you get to this part, the broker signs here. It has to be witnessed here. Okay? It has to be witnessed. It's not legal as a broker if it's not witnessed. Okay? The date has to go here. Carrier has to sign here for their carrier information here. It has to be witnessed. Their signature has to be witnessed. If it's not witnessed, it's not legal as a broker. Then you have your exhibits A, exhibit B, exhibit C, exhibit D, and all the exhibits and stuff that go along with the broker contract. So, uh, but that's your broker contract. Okay? If you are broker, all right? Most of you are not brokers. But if you are a broker, that's what you'll use when you're not a carrier. All right? Everybody got that? Cool. All right. Let's get on down here to some good stuff. Good stuff. A lot of you want to know, okay, how do I find shipping? Well, we give you access to every ship in the United States, all 19 million plus of them. Come down here where it says tools and resources. You're going to click where it says search shippers. If you want to find shippers, you click on that bad boy right there. It's going to take you over to the Federal Government sick code site, McCray's Blue Book. That is a Federal Government sick code site. Um, you don't have to log in anything. We've already got you logged in. Um, and when you click in, you, 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 you click in on the hour login. So all you do is go here and you start looking for what you want. Um, what y'all want me to look for? Lumber, steel, peanuts. I mean, give me something. Type in something. Somebody type in something. Which one? Which one of us to look for? What type of shippers? Uh, okay. So all y'all type at one time. Anybody got anything? Okay, pizza. I guess he want to find some pizza. Somebody hungry. Uh, <laughs> somebody is hungry. All right, let me look for some pizza. All right. According to the Federal Government Sick Code site, you have 12 categories of companies that ship pizza. For pizza crust and stacker, they have two shippers that ship that. For, for uh, blankets, installation, pizza oven, they have two shippers that ship that. For food products, can, pizza sauce, 53 companies that ship that. For food products, wholesale, pizza supplies, 152 companies that ship that. And then food products, and so on and so on and so on. You see how this goes. Yeah, all you got to do is click on one. Let's go for pizza crust and stackers. Look at those two companies that ship that pizza crust and stackers. You're going to click on it. It has those two companies right there. You click on one of them. It pulls it up. Look at what it does. It gives you that company's name, which is four pack. That's a pretty good name. And their address. <laughs> it gives you what type of business they are. They are a manufacturer, service, exporter. It gives you their phone number, their fax number, their website address. Contact this company. Their email um, contact. It even gives you a profile of who the company is, what type of product they make, and who they ship to. It even has a tool down here, and this is on every one you pull up, has a tool down here that tells you what they pay, sh pay carriers to move their freight from their location to any state in the United States. All you got to do is click on this bad boy right here, put down, let's put down here Florida, what they, what they pay to ship some stuff over here to Florida, down here to my neck of the woods. Where's Florida? That's Florida right there. It tells you, when you click on that, it tells you they pay Ninety dollars a pallet and twelve hundred and fifty dollars for a partial dry van. Now that's some good pay, cause usually a partial is four quarters. Okay, four quarters make up a full dollar. And they're saying that they pay twelve hundred and fifty dollars for a partial dry van. Now, what other lead source gives you that type of information? None. Okay, we don't want. You all, as students, first of all, to pay for anything outside of what you've already paid. That's why we provide everything for you. Second of all, we want you all to have the best resources and tools available because we need you all to book freight for us to make money. Okay, does everybody understand how we operate? 
This is why we give you access to the stuff that we give you access to. No other platform is going to give you this type of access. These, they're going to, no, other, no other platform is going to pay for these, these types of tools and resources for, for you all to have. And like I can say it, this site is a, is, is a federal government site. So that means that it's updated on a weekly and monthly basis. If there is a shipping company in here that is no longer in business, they are deleted from the site. If there are new shipping companies that just came on, guess what? They are added to the site. Okay, so this site is always maintained, always up to date because it's a federal government site. This site is how the federal government categorizes and tracks every business in the United States that is paying taxes, that has a tax ID number. Okay, this is why you have access to every shipper in the United States, all 19 million plus of them. We give you that access. We give you everything you need to contact that shipper and to formulate an approach to them to get them to do what? Send you some loads and sign up with you and send you their load list every morning. Okay? In training, we'll show you how to do that. In training, we'll show you what to say to them and things like that. All right? All right. Okay. For those of you that are joining us late, this is Orin Case. This is recorded, so don't worry about it. You'll have a chance to go back in it later on the night and pull this up and review it all. All right. All right. But this is our um, how we find shippers on this site right here. Okay? All right. You can also find brokers on that same federal government um, sick code site. If you're looking for brokers, click on the website, search for brokers. It pulls them up automatically. All you got to do is just start clicking on whichever broker you want to find. He's got them all listed in here. Um, you know, you click on the logistics firm, pulls it up. Same same information. It gives you that company name, phone number, all the, you know, the fax number, all the contact information, the website address, the email address. Uh, tells you who the company is, what type of product they broker. This is that. It gives you the comparable rates of what, what they normally pay to um, um, on the loans that are moving from certain uh, states, moving to certain states. This broker, um, you know, uh, shipping stuff, you know, uh, um, rates from Emporia, Kansas to New Jersey. Okay, with most of the products are going to come out of the Emporia, Kansas, which is probably some type of contract they have with the shipper out there. So what they work with the rate that they have for uh, moving the, their product from Kansas to New Jersey, they use the pay carriage ninety five dollars per bale, um, ninety five dollars a pallet, uh, partial dry van eighteen hundred bucks, and a forty eight foot or a partial fifty three foot dry van truck load nineteen hundred dollars. So they pay pretty good money. Okay, but everything you need, everything you need to call that broker. Hey, Mr. Broker, how you doing? My name is Calvin Buck with the National Network Dispatcher. We are over 500 dispatch firms strong spread across the United States. And each one of our dispatch firms have thousands, access to thousands of trucks that are equipped and insured and experienced at moving your type of freight. I think based on the type of freight that you have and the type of money you all pay, we could move about 25 to 35% of your freight every day. How's that sound to you? And all we have to do is... All you have to do is send us your load list every morning or give us access to your load board. And the great part about this, because we are dispatchers and we work for the carrier, this is a free service to you. It doesn't cost you a dime. I was ready to get signed up with us. That's our basic pitch when you call up brokers and get them to send you over there and load this. It's simple. Simple. You know, you let them know, first of all, it's free. Second of all, we have a large network of dispatchers. We have access to thousands of trucks. Third of all, we can help you book more freight at no cost to you. I mean, what broker is going to say no to that? Okay, and, and you all wonder how we get access to so many load boards, so many loads are sent to us, and all that happens. But this is how, because we make it very easy for brokers to start using us. Okay, all right, but. That's what that is. That's how you're going to go and, you know, find your brokers, call them up, get them to the loads every day, that type of stuff, and, 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 and get your loads. All right? But we'll show you how to do that in training, of course. But, again, again this is orientation. All right. So that's how you find your brokers if you want to find brokers. Also, here, I need you all to pay very close attention to, uh, we have a general script here. Our general script, uh, when you contact the shippers, if you need, if you want to know what to say to shippers, you can click, you click, you click. Uh, you can click onto the script, uh, pull it up, you know, you can email it to them the night before, 
as a place down here for you to sign it and stuff like that. Our general script basically says, why should you partner with a member of the RBDS National Network of Dispatchers? And it goes into telling shippers why they should partner with you. The national uh, the network utilizes the most advanced technology in the industry to service our customers. We um, integrated the CNTMS transportation management system and logistics software in all, I got to change that, in all 500 active, 500 plus active uh, independent dispatch firms. Read this. I'm not going to read it. It's a lot of, you know, you know, the hot buttons um, that it pushes um, for the shipper to get the shipper excited about using you. That's all it is. Okay, we're just giving you a script that gets the shipper acquainted with your services and it gets them excited about using you. That's all it is. Okay, that's what this is. You can copy and paste this and send it over to the shipper down here at the bottom. has a place for you to put your name where it says network member. Um, put your uh, name here. You can put in your extension. Uh, once you get it, you got your fax number in there already. And you put your email address in right here. And you send that out to them, copy and paste it, send it out to them, learn it, read it. You can repeat it back to them verbatim if that's what you want to do. But um, I use you to just use it just to send them out. I copy and paste it, and I send it as an email the night before. And then the next day I follow up with a phone call. That way I got something to talk about, you know, when I call them. Okay? But that's how that works. Uh, that's your general freight script. Uh, we got one for auto dealers, too. Click on it. Pull it up, use it. Um, so we're going to be getting into doing the auto haul in this um, coming up this month. So you all will be uh, doing some auto haul dispatching. Um, so we're going to get you involved in that. This is the auto haul script that we pitch to used car dealers. So that's who we are contacting to move cars for. Okay, uh, look through it, read it, learn it. Uh, you can copy and paste that as well. Um, what do we got here? Oh yeah, our Script, this, now this is your money making script. Okay, I need everybody to really pay attention to me on this. This is what, this is what you're going to need to learn that's going to make you your money. Because this is what's going to get carriers to sign up with you, get carriers to sign your dispatch agreement. It's this script right here, where it says, how much money do you need to move your truck? That is your money maker. Everybody learn this, okay? Um, there it is right there. Uh, you can copy and paste this and send it to carriers beforehand, but then when you do a follow-up call, make sure you call them because, look, an email is not going to sell anybody, okay? You all, it, it, it's nice to copy this and paste it and send it out to the carrier. That's nice. But at some point in time, you got to call that carrier, and you're going to have to pitch that carrier. you got to sell that carrier. And when you call that carrier, your pitch is going to sound something like this. Hey, Mr. Kerry, how you doing? My name is Calvin Butler with the National Network of Dispatches. I see right there that you're down there in Mobile, Alabama right now. You're down in a truck stop right now? Yeah, I'm sitting down here at the truck stop, man. What you want? Well, like I said, you know, I just called to find out on one thing for you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah, man, go ahead. How much money do you need to move your truck? Now, ain't two ways he's going to answer that. Ain't but two ways he's going to answer that. He's either going to say, well, <laughs> I need... Or he's going to say, what the hell are you talking about? Now, let's say if he said the latter, what the hell are you talking about? Well, like I said, my name is Ken I'm with the National Network of Dispatchers. And we understand that not every carrier can move the load for the same amount of money. So that's why we contact the carriers. We ask you, how much money do you need to move your truck? In other words, I'm asking you, how much money do you need to be profitable? If you tell me you need $2 per mile, guess what? I'm only going to look for loads that's paying two twenty five dollars or more. If you tell me that... Your carrier gets 20% because you have to pay them 20% because you're leasing your truck. Guess what? I can add 20 cents on to that to cover that. So now I'm looking for what? Those that's paying 245 If you tell me that you've got a factory company and they take 5%, I can add another 5 cents on to that. So now I'm looking for 250 If you tell me that you want me to add my dispatch fee in it, okay, because you say, well, 10% is kind of hot, no problem. I add another 10 cents onto that, another 10 to 15 cents, now I'm looking for what? 265 per mile. If you tell me that you want your fuel covered in that, fuel surcharge right now is about 3%. We'll add another 3 cents onto that. Now I'm looking for 268. So guess what? The only loads I'm going to look for for you are going to be $2.70 per mile or 275 per mile. 
And I'm not going to call you with loads that's paying 275 per mile or better. If you tell me you don't want to run in the mountains, I'm going to only look for loads on the bottom half of the United States. If you tell me you want loads that's going more than 400 miles, I'm only going to look for loads that's running 400 plus miles or better. So you know when you see my number on your caller ID, I got the kind of loads you want, going to the places you want to go, paying the kind of money you want to get paid. How does that sound to you? Ain't too many carriers that's going to say no to that. Because that's our pitch. That's what you're going to learn. You're going to learn that pitch. Because that pitch will get you eight out of the ten carriers you approach signed up. Okay? That pitch got me to the point to where I had enough carriers where I was dispatching, you know, 10 to 15 loads a day. Every single day when I was just dispatching. Because of that pitch. And that's the pitch you all are going to learn. But you're going to have to pitch it. You can't just send it out to someone. they got to hear that in your voice. they got to hear your commitment. they got to hear that. And most of them are not going to sign up the first time when you call them. Or two days later when you could do the follow-up call, that's when they're going to sign up. And we'll teach you about the follow-up pitch um, in training. Okay? Everybody understands that how important this right here is. This is your money maker. This is what's going to help you make money. Okay, because getting carriers is the key to all of it. All right? All right. But it's back there for you all to, to access and learn. Okay? Uh, this is your workflow. Right here where it says workflow of dispatching. This is how you get a load from start to finish. This is, these are the steps you take once you got your carrier to dispatching a load and getting paid on it. Okay? Uh, click on your workflow. Make sure you all learn this. Keep this somewhere where you can access it. Because you're going to have to do this with every load you dispatch. Okay? But this is the step-by-step -step instructions on how to dispatch a load, how to process all your paperwork, and how to submit your paperwork and get paid. So make sure you all read this and understand this because this is very important. Because if you don't follow the steps, guess what? You may delay your pay or you may not get paid. So make sure you all read this, understand it, and follow it. Okay? All right. That's your workflow. Um, if you have questions about that, you can ask people about that in the chat group once we get once you all get access um, to the chat group. All right. Shared email address. All right. This email address here is a shared email address. This is where all of you all have access to this email address. You can send e e um, emails uh, from this address. Don't ever change the passwords or log in to, to, to this email address. Don't ever change the password or log in to anything you all access here in the back office site. Use only the logins that we give you. Okay? Don't change them. Don't give them out to anybody. I don't care if they're a member of the of the network. If they're a member of the network, they have access to the back office. No one shares usernames or passwords within our network. Okay? Because everyone who is supposed to be in our network has access to the back office site. If they're not supposed to be there, they're not going to have access, so don't share username or password. Don't give them out to anybody. Let the, if someone asks you for a username or password, tell them, that, hey, it's in the back office. Log into the back office. It's right there. Okay? But don't, don't ever share username and passwords to any of the things that we have um, here in our back office. All right? But this, this, this email address is where Shippers send in loads. We have shippers sometimes that, are, that will send stuff to our email. Um, they may say, um, you know, got 200 dedicated loads coming up, need 600 trucks. We get, we get stuff like that. <laughs> I believe it or not. Um, um, got 60 loads, uh, you know, need, 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 you know, 60 trucks, you know, this weekend or, or, or next week or whatever the case may be. We get stuff like that. Or they'll send over a whole, uh, they'll send over a PDF or a um, or a uh, file, an Excel file with you know 1,200 loads. To say uh, we need to try to get at least 25 to 35 percent of these booked this week. That type of stuff you're gonna get in this back office in our shared email address. It's up to you all to log in, see the type of stuff, reach back out to those shippers, you know, and see what you can. See if you can pull something together for them, you know, find trucks for them or whatever the case may be. Okay? These, this is how you get your leads. Okay? We provide a way for you to have access to leads that come in 
from our from the email leads. Okay, that's your uh, site right there. All right, uh, Charles Money, which is one of our students. Actually, believe it or not, Charles Money started about eighty days ago. I'm not gonna lie to you. He caught on real fast. He he came in as one of our students. After the first first thirty days, he didn't do so well. Why? Because he was fighting his sister. So after the first thirty days, he called me to Kevin. I'm not doing so well. Uh, he said, "I don't know." If I'm, I, so I said, "Well, well, let's see what you're doing." I looked at what he was doing. I said, "Oh, oh, you fighting the sister? You're not following the sister? Well, I think it's better if I, I said, well, Charles, you ain't made no money in the first thirty days, so obviously it's not better. Let's try the next thirty days my way. Let's just try it my way." Within 12 days, he had signed on about 15 different carriers. And now he books about four to five loads per day. Not per week. I'm talking per day. We even helped him to develop his own ebook. He has an, an ebook that he puts out that he provides um, to the network that you all can download. Um, he has an ebook called like $29.95. It has all the terms, everything you need to know about dispatching. For all the different terms of stuff that the truckers use and bring all the different type of carriers, different type of trucks, um, you know, what what those what's what's meant by power only, what's meant by, you know, um an FTL or or, or or all this lingo, hot shots, um, you know, uh, box truck, um, reefer, you know, flatbed, um, you know, low boy, you know, low 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 boy, all that type of stuff. He has all those terms, all the phrases and stuff in that ebook. Okay, if you are a beginner and you need to know those terms, get it with Charles Monday or click on that and it'll take you right over to his e his ebook that you can um, that you can get and download um, his ebook. All right. We also give you uh, access to a uh, beginner's low board for booking auto freight for finding the auto carriers, the carriers that carry the the, um, the carloads and stuff like that. And we're going to get you on the central dispatch too, but we don't put that on here because we don't want everybody going on the central dispatch until we have you properly trained. So if you click on that, that'll take you over to that low, that area to find um, um, the car haulers. Okay? Down here, we have access to all of the low boards that we give you access to. All right. We're giving you access to how many paid low boards. We're giving you access to one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so you have access to eight paid low boards, okay? And we give you access to 91 free low boards. Now, do not change any of the um, logins or usernames. As you all can see here, when you click on one of these, it's going to take you right over to uh, some of the low boards here. All you got to do is copy and paste your usernames um, into it, and then you can log in, and then... Uh, Click in, you log in, you know, sign in, blah, 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 pull the load we have posted on this load board. Um, you can find loads, you can find trucks, you know, stuff like that. You can search for trucks, do we'll a truck search, pull up search, search. There's all types of stuff you can do in the load board. And, and we go over this in training. Every week we go over load board training to show you all on how to do this stuff. If you want to know how to do it, go back and watch some of the videos um, that we put out. Anything from 15 on up to 34 to so video number 35 uh, is it, 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 the ones you want to watch. You know, so from 15 to 35, or start at 35 and work your way back down to number 15. Okay, everything before 15 was, was set up on our old format. Okay, all right. Um, training is as long as you want it to be. This is an ongoing process. This is not a class. This is not a course. Okay, uh, neither this is um, our system is set up to where you plug into a network and you stay with us for as long as you need until you feel comfortable doing this on your own. This is a self-paced uh, platform. No one is telling you got to do certain stuff at a certain time. You, you pace yourself. You come along as you feel you need to come along. Because that's, cause that's life. You know, that, that's how life works. You, know, you can't learn this from a book. Everyone you know, gets a certain time and say, hey, class is over. Go home whether you got it or don't. That's not how we work. <laughs> That's not how we work. We understand that this is the real world. Everybody works at a different pace. Everybody gets stuff at a different pace. Everybody learns at a different level. So we give you access and we plug you in so you can operate and work at your own pace, at your own speed, and progress on your own terms. 
Okay? And so we don't, we've got some people that have been with us for, you know, two or three months and then they got it and they move on. Some people have been with us for almost a year. <laughs> you know, so, you know, you just stay as long as you like. You know, we're not going to kick you out. <laughs> okay? Unless you do something wrong. <laughs> okay? Other than that, no. No, we're not going to kick you out. All right. Uh, what am I looking at here? Get rid of all this stuff. All right, all right. That's how you how you access your load boards. You just click on any one of these, and you just go right to the load boards, and that's all you got to do. All right. Uh, Raphael says, any chance from now on to putting time stamps on the YouTube videos so that I don't need to watch the same thing? Oh, uh, time stamps. Uh, we'll 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 take a look at it. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know how to do timestamps. Um, right now, you know, we just let our videos run. If you want to watch them, watch them. Um, if you watch them, uh, they got their number. Our videos are numbered. If you go and look at them, they, they, they tell you video number 35. Now, they're in Roman numerals now. If you look at our YouTube channel, our videos are numbered. They tell you video, uh, earn what you learn, free book of training, um, 36. Training, 34, 35, 27, 20. All of our videos are numbered. Okay? Uh, they're all numbered. If you go back to our back office area, or not back office area, you go to our YouTube channel, which is the RBBS Logistics Learning Center on YouTube, you'll see that all our videos are numbered. Even our orientation is then numbered. Okay? But they are in Roman numerals. So, uh, but they are numbered. All right. Uh, but up, but up, but up, but up, but up. Okay, all right. That is your basic orientation. Okay, this is how you access everything. Now, when you all send in your access, and we get you and we approve your access out to the back office. Another thing I need you all to do, I need you all to go to Facebook. Everybody, if they can, you can do this right now. I'm as a matter of fact, you can go to Facebook and look for. Me, Calvin Butler. Put in Calvin Butler. And this is the profile you're going to look for. I've got about three to four accounts on Facebook, so you may see me about four times on there. Okay? Don't call the Facebook police and say, hey, Calvin Butler got three, uh, three accounts. Please don't do that. <laughs> okay? <laughs> but what you can do is go look for Calvin Butler. Look for the one that says Calvin Butler RBBS Logistics Training. Okay? This is the one I operate for, for the business. Look for, look for the account that says Calvin Butler. RBDS logistics training. You know, I'm sitting there in a purple shirt, white vest. You can't miss me. Okay? You can't miss me. No, 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 like, I look like a dark Barney. Okay? So just, just look for the dark Barney, no Barney with glasses. <laughs> hey, that's me. All right? So when you find me, shoot me a personal message. In that personal message, you are going to say, this is so and so and so. My enrollment email address is so-and-so-and-so, and and I've just completed orientation. Please add me to the chat group. In other words, say this is, you know, Jack Daniels. My email address is blase, blase, blase at Jack Daniels. Uh, uh, Just finished orientation. Please add me to the chat group. Then I'm going to check your email, cross-reference your email again with your enrollment, and I'm going to cross it with your certification test, and then I am going to add you to the chat group. And when you get added to the chat group, this is what you are going to find. Um, give you all a kind of a peek at the chat group here. When you get added to the chat group, where, 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 where am I at? Okay, here we go. When you get added to the chat group, this is what you all are going to find. Um, this is our chat group, and as you can see, our chat group is always Always, always bumping. I mean, as you can see here, um, people are asking questions. They're getting answers. You'll also see on here where they're sharing loads. You see here where they are sharing loads. Here's says Garza says um, loads daily, five loads from Yuma, Arizona to Portland, Oregon, thirty-five hundred dollars. Five loads from Yuma, Arizona to Seattle, Washington, uh, thirty-six hundred dollars. Reefer must be at forty-five degrees. Uh, Florida City, Florida to New. This is what we do. You know, 
call myself blah blah blah. This is this is what we do. You know, people are asking questions. They're getting the answers to the questions that they need. They're they're helping each other out. You all are helping each other to learn more about this business than you will ever learn from me. This is what you all are plugging into. You're plugging into a network that is constantly helping each other. They're posting loads. They're posting trucks. They're posting answers to questions that people have 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You're helping each other to learn this business and to make money in this business. That's what we do on a constant basis every single day. All right? So submit that to me. When you submit that to me, I will add you all to the chat group, and then I will send you all your profile um, 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 request form so that you can send in your request to get your toll-free numbers, your extensions, your email addresses, and things like that. Very important. Very important. Okay. From this moment on, everything you send in that needs to be processed, everything you send in that needs to be processed will be sent to dispatch at rbbstransport.com. Do not send stuff over to the training site or to the training email. If you do, it won't get done. Do not send stuff to my personal email. If you do, it won't get done. Do not send stuff to me on Facebook that you want processed. If you do, it won't get done. It is only going to get processed and get done if you send it over to dispatch at rbdstransport.com. I'm going to type it in here for you all to see. Everything from here, this point on goes to dispatch. At RBBS Transport. Uh, this back at RBBS Transport.com. There it is right there. All right. Everything goes to that email address. Everything goes to that email address that you want processed. Okay? If you're sending over those. Anything like that that needs to be any the low invoices, it needs to go there. When you're sending in your profile sheets, everybody pay attention to me now because every week we get somebody that does just what I don't, they, and they do just the opposite. Then they wonder why they didn't get their toll free numbers, and then they have to redo it, and then they end up going, then they don't get them until the, until the next Friday, and then they're upset because it took too long. Well, <laughs> probably didn't pay attention. Your profile sheets that you're going to be getting when you come on Facebook, and we're going to shoot, and I'm going to send you your profile information sheet, your uh, request form. You need to send that to dispatch at rbbstransport.com. Don't send it back to me on Facebook. So why? The reason why it is because I don't process stuff. That's not. I don't do that stuff. Our interns do. I I don't process your pay vouchers. I don't process your uh, toll free numbers and your profile. I don't. I don't do any of that. I'm processing. That is done by our interns. And if you don't send it to them, guess what? It is not going to get done because I don't do that type of stuff. I have too many other things. I have too much other things to do when it comes to training, consulting. Um, you know, figuring out new ways for our platform to advance forward. Our branding, our advertising, updating the website. I ask about 150 calls a day that comes in from recruiting to training to carriers, all kinds of stuff. So I don't have time to do any process. That is done by the interns. So if you do not send it to the intern email address, it will not get done. All right? All right, is the dispatch agreement sent to, yes, everything is sent to that email address. But you don't, when you get your dispatch agreements done, don't send them to us. When you get them signed, you hang on to those. Those those are for your records. You're only gonna send those to us when you. If you look at the workflow, you send those to us when you're ready to invoice your carrier to get paid. When you send us the invoice that says my payday invoice, that's when you send us the dispatch agreement, the confirmation rate sheet, the load information, and the BOL. And you also let us know who you got that load from. If you got assisted by another student who helped you find that load, if you got that load from Charles Money, from Anita uh, um, Hicks, or from anybody else, if you got that load from someone else, let us know then, I got this load from blah, 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 blah. 
I got this load from the back office load board, such and such and such. But that load board that, that's in the back office may be a load board that's paid for by one of the students, and they gave us access to it so that you all can access their load. Because remember, if you do that, you get paid 2.5% for every load that gets ran from your load board. Okay? So that's when you will send that in to us, when you're ready to get paid on a load that has been picked up, delivered, and ready to be paid on. So don't flood our emails with a whole bunch of dispatch agreements every time you get it. No. You only send that stuff over when you are invoicing your care, when you're ready for us to invoice your carry. Okay? That's when you send that over. Other than that, that stays in your files for your records. All right? Everybody understand that? All right. Uh, everybody understand how to access the Facebook uh, chat group and how to request your access to the chat group. Everybody understands how to um, fill out your your uh, form um, when you get it. It's, it's, it's very simple. It's self-explanatory. You just, you just kind of just follow the instructions and you send it back to dispatch at rbbstransport.com. All right. I'm going to show you all this uh, um, 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 recruitment uh, referral. Now, on referrals, if you all if you all want to send us referrals, we do pay referrals. If you send us um, um, if you send us a, someone who wants to sign up and join our platform, when they sign up and join, you you receive fifty dollars referral fee. Every person that signs up, okay, that you send in. But there's a procedure to how to send in your referrals. If you're sending in referrals, I'm going to show you all how to, how to do that. Um, if you, I'm going to show you all how to, how to send in referrals. If you're sending in referrals, this is how you do it. Uh, the, and that's a pay voucher, by the way. Well, we paid her on that, so we, you know, so you what we, how we pay you. We send you your Square Cash app and stuff. But if you if you're doing if you're sending in referrals, this is how. What you, what did I get my? Am I looking at the right thing here? Katrina Williams. Uh, okay, I gotta find one of my referral links. Uh, anyway, I go up here. It, it's it's in here. It's just way up here. You see the chat group is. Is bumping like it's always. The chat group bumps every day. I mean, there's not a day that this chat group is not bumping. I mean, as you all see here, this how many members we have in it that are in the chat group right now. That's a, as it, it's always loaded. The chat group is always loaded right now. And this is like on a daily basis when you see that many people in a chat group. But anyway, you know, you know that's how we do. That's what we. That's how we do what we do here. Uh, I'm trying to find this. Procedures to sending in your well, hold on here. Let me just find it on YouTube. I've got it on YouTube. Give me a second here. Uh, what's my YouTube channel? YouTube, 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 YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. That's what we got here. Okay. Give me a second, y'all. I'm pulling up the YouTube for the RBBS. The Justice Learning Center. There we go. Our YouTube channel. And this is of our videos. And pull up the referral link. And this is our YouTube channel, in case y'all didn't know. This is RBBS. You look for RBBS Transport, RBBS, I mean LLC, it will pull it up. Uh, and this is our YouTube channel. And this is how you send in your referrals. You know, second to find, this, find my referral video. This is it right here. Learn where you learn. All right. Um, I'm going to send this over to, over, to, over to you all. Copy. All right. That is the referral video that tells you about the referral, okay, and tells you how to send in your referral. Um, it, it tells you here when you click where it says show more down there, it will give you the instructions. And as you can see, here, it tells you that um, 
when you send the referrals, you got to send them over to this email address, training at the rbbsllc.org, okay? That's where you send your referrals over to. It tells you that you send over an email with your name, phone number, and email address, and your, then your referrals name, phone number, and email address. You send over to us, and then we will contact your referral, and we will send them some information. And then when they sign up, you get paid. Um, we'll pay you um, the same time that, that, that we get paid. Your referral um, email must be sent in and dated before your referral signs up. If you have someone to come and sign up and then you send us a referral form after they've already signed up, you won't be paid on it. Okay? You can't send it after the fact. You can't say, well, I forgot to send you the referral, but I did refer to I'm sorry. We can't pay you unless we have that paper trail. We have to show that that referral was sent in and, 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 and stamp dated before they signed up. Okay? So make sure that if you have a referral, send it in. Send it in. So that's your, that is your date stamp to show that you qualify for the referral fee. Okay? Now, now, I, I get this all the time. People send me stuff. Oh, I refer them, but I forgot that within. That's all you do. You gotta send that in before you before the referral signs up. Don't tell someone about the program and then, then they go sign up and then you send a referral thing later and, and then say, well, why did I get paid my referral? Why? Because it's, it's not a valid referral. Okay. Make sure that it's done so we can actually have a paper trail and and and, and it's time stamped so we can follow that. So because remember. We use other people's money to, to, to start all this. That's what happens when you have investors. You fall under the jurisdiction of, of the SEC. Does anybody here know who, the, know who the SEC is? Anybody? Can anybody tell me who the SEC is? <laughs> okay. That's the Securities Exchange Commission. If you start a business and you use more than $5,000 from investors to start a business, you automatically fall under the jurisdiction of the SEC. You have to file what's called a corporate resolution. Why? Because you have investors, whether you're a private business or you're a public business. You still have investors. You're using other people's money to start and run your business. Okay? We use to the tune of about $252,000 from other people. Okay, to start our business. I know y'all think this is, you know, a lot of people think this is some little rinky dink side show, but actually this, 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 you know, we have investors and they pump, they pump a lot of money into what we're doing. Uh, give me a second, that's a sales call. Four, extension, zero, to accept your call. This is Calvin with the RBBS Logistics Learning Center. I'm at the end of orientation right now. If you want to give me a call back in about 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. I'm in orientation right now with new students, okay? All right. All right. Um, but, uh, but this is actually, this company is, is not owned completely by me. Um, I own about 60% of it. The rest is owned by investors. And one of our largest investors is, is a law firm here out of Tallahassee, uh, Justice Law Firm. Um, they're a very prominent law firm here, and they put up about $240,000 of that 252. So uh, we have people that we have to answer to. We have to follow our corporate resolution. We have to do things according to our corporate corporate resolution. Every dime, every dollar, everything is that, that is spent is noted, and it has to be verifiable, and it has to be a paper trail. We have to do things in the order and in the sequence that is outlined in our corporate in our corporate resolution. So we have to account for everything. Okay, um, but um, that's what we do. That's who we are. All right, you all now have access to everything. One thing I want to I want to warn you all: when you come into our chat group, this is a private professional chat group. This chat group is monitored twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. It is monitored. Not just by myself, I'm not always monitored, but the law firm has access to, um, to the chat group and they have paralegals and interns that they put in place to monitor our our social media, um, um, everything that, that we do on social media. Even my private posts, they have access to it. So they want to make sure that we're not doing something that's going to bring harm to 
the company. I'm uh, going to hurt their investment. Okay, and they have every right to do so. So they monitor everything. With that being said, our chat group is only, let me repeat, this chat group is only for RBBS Logistics National Network and Logistics Post. Please do not come into the chat group posting stuff that has nothing to do with helping someone find freight, book freight, or helping someone to understand and learn this industry. I don't, we don't have gossip on this chat group. If you have a problem with someone, I don't want to see it in this chat group. If you have a problem with me, I don't want to see it in this chat group. If you have a problem with the platform, I don't want to see it in this chat group. Okay? If there's anything in this chat group that is put in um, that is negative, okay, I will contact you and say, hey, that doesn't belong in the chat group, and I'm going to delete it, and you're going to have a warning. If it happens again, we're going to have a talk about it. If that talk reveals that you have a problem that you can't get over, then we're going to ban you from the chat group for a while. If the problem, problem exists even further than that, then we're going to kick you out of the platform, and that's going to be the end of the story. Okay? In other words, keep this chat group on subject. This is not a gripe session. This is not a you know, gossip page. This is not for you to come in and talk about your tax business or you're talking about some other type of multi-level marketing business or network marketing business, I don't want to see it in this chat group. If it, if it does not have something to do with logistics and helping the other students to book freight or to learn this business, it does not belong in the chat group. Plain and simple. If you have a problem with the services or the group or me or anything about our platform, Shoot me a message on Facebook. I'll be more than happy to answer you. I'll even call you back on Facebook. We have a phone call, and we'll talk about it. But if you try to air business onto the chat group, you're going to lose that battle. I promise you. We've had people to try that before, okay? And obviously, they lost. They lose every time. You can't, the death of battle, you cannot win with me, okay? So don't go to, to our chat group and try to air things out in the chat group. That chat group stays positive at all times. All times. No exception. Okay? All right. Another thing is, the other students in, 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 in our platform, please respect their privacy. Um, don't, um, I'm pretty sure you all don't want someone calling you up on a Sunday night at 10 o'clock at night asking you questions, you know, on your phone because you're trying to spend time with your family. Or you don't want someone calling you up on a Saturday night at 12 o'clock at night asking you questions. Now, you all do that to me all the time because, you know, hey, I don't have any free time. But um, usually after Saturdays, after the – and my availability kind of ends on Saturday after our conference call. When we have our training on Saturday, we end at 1 o'clock. I am usually unavailable until Monday morning. Up until then, you know, I have students that call me 10, 11 o'clock at night during the week. They call me all week long, you know, whatever case may be. I answer about 100 to 150 phone calls, you know, a day, all the time on the phone. So, but that's, but that's what I signed up for. You all didn't sign up for that. The other students didn't sign up for that, okay? If you need something answered, ask it on the chat group. If they want to answer it, they'll answer it on the chat group. Do not contact them outside of the chat group during their private time, okay? Now, if someone says call me, that's fine. If they say call me, whatever, whatever, that you have permission to call them because they actually call. Them. But don't just start calling up, up the other students because you have because you have their numbers or their extensions and stuff and infringing upon their private time because they are students just like you. We are the consultants, okay? You can infringe upon our time because that's what we signed up for. That's what we get paid for. You all don't get paid to do that, okay? So. Please respect the other students' private time. If you have a question, ask them in the chat group. If they say call me, that's fine. Other than that, keep it on the chat group. If anybody wants to answer, they will answer. And I promise you, anytime you ask questions on that chat group, someone's going to respond to you. Someone does respond to you. All right? Um, other than that, that's it. Does anybody have any quick questions pertaining to orientation, pertaining to where, how to, how to get onto the, uh, onto our, um, chat group in the back office, or I'm sorry, how, how to log into your back office site, or how to get onto the chat group on Facebook, or how to get your um, your, 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 uh, your your profile form. 
If you have a question with that, I'm going to open up the mic, and you all are free to ask questions. When will the video be on YouTube? It'll be on there sometime tonight after about nine o'clock. It takes a because normally these things it's very slow when it's when it, when it uploads them. It's got to upload it to the uh, conference call site. Then I've got to download it onto my computer. Then I have to upload it onto YouTube. So it'll probably be about nine nine thirty tonight. But it, when it becomes available, I'll put it onto the I put it in the chat group. And I also put it onto our um, page on Facebook, the RBB, RBBS Logistics Learning Center. I put it there as well. Okay. Um, is there no other questions? Any other questions? Any other questions pertaining to orientation? All training questions, save them for um, Saturday. Thanks, um, Raphael. Um, but I want to welcome you all. All right, great. I want to welcome everybody to the RBBS National Dispatchers Network. Welcome to the RBBS Logistics Learning Center training and consulting platform. Um, as you all submit your things to the back office site, I'll be approving those t tonight and approving you all to get onto the back office and onto the chat group. So, um, you know, don't feel like we're ignoring you. If, if you don't get done right away, it will get done tonight. We'll get everybody on and get everybody up to speed and get everybody going. And uh, welcome and enjoy the networking. Enjoy the, you know, making money. Uh, let's get everybody in, going, uh, get you up to speed, and get you all involved. I'm pretty sure you all are going to like what you have here because no one else has what we have. No one. No other platform enjoys the level of training, the level of support, tools and resources that we provide for our students. So I, I'm pretty sure you all are going to love it. Thank you all again. Look forward to you all um, getting all the access and everything and doing everything you need to do. How do we access you by phone if we have questions? 866-973-6445, extension 2. Okay. Uh, dial our toll-free number. It's posted on everything. So, <laughs> so it's posted on everything. Um, 866, uh, I'm putting it in here, 973-6445, extension 2. Um, all I ask is that you all try to be respectful and try not to call me at 2 o'clock in the morning or, you know, or right around dinner time, you know, you know 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night, you know, six between 6 and 8 o'clock at night when I'm having dinner with my family or something. Try to respect that. Um, Anytime you want to call me from 7 a.m. to about 7 p.m. in the afternoon, that's fine. 7 a.m. to 7 to 6 p.m. in the afternoon, that's fine. But usually when you get into a call at 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock at night, eh, sometimes I pick up, sometimes I won't. Depends on what I'm doing with my family. Okay? Um, you know, just try to respect that. That's all I ask. All right? All right. Y'all have a great night. Um, appreciate you all. As always, this has been uh, Orientation every Monday um, at the RBBS Logistics Learning Center. Earn while you learn, freight vocal training, and consulting. Thanks, y'all, again. Y'all have a great night.